Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to talk about polygons. It's going to be an introduction to some uh, polygons and also we're going to discuss about the sum of the integer angles of these polygons. For that reason I'm going to need you to open uh, GeoGebra, GeoGebra.org and in this GeoGebra.org we have uh, the geometry uh, app and you should get something like that. In this area you have the tools. In this area we're gonna do the drawing. And you already noticed we have a tool that uh, uh, I'm gonna use it, the polygon, and I'm gonna draw the first polygon, the polygon that has three sides. We call that a triangle. Um, and this triangle, uh, we can measure the uh, interior angle of these uh, angles using a tool that you're going to find it here. Yes, more, and then you click this one, measure, and we're going to measure an angle. We're going to measure, for example, for measuring uh, angle A, you should go C, A, B, C, A, B. And then you're going to get the measure of that uh, angle A. In my case, we have 40.1, 87.3, and 52.6. Obviously, yours are going to be different if you use GeoGebra. Uh, if you add all these three values, you will have to end up with 180 degrees. The sum of the interior angle of a polygon of three sides, the triangle, is nothing else than 180 degrees. This one is a quadrilateral, a polygon of four sides. And again, we can do the same thing, measure each angles. But look at here what I'm doing here. I'm connecting the point D with the point F. We can call them here opposite vertices. However, I prefer to use the concept of non-consecutive vertices. And you'll see that why, why I choose this uh, statement instead of opposite vertices um, and we have two triangles each one being 180 when i said which one which one being 180 me it means that the sum of the interior angles of uh, each triangle is 180 so altogether we have 360 in other words, the sum of the interior angle of a polygon with four sides is 360. 360 degrees. And this is the next polygon, the polygon of five sides. The name of this polygon is pentagon, right? Five sides, pentagon. And look at here, That's this is the one where I think that, uh, that uh, vocabulary non-consecutive non-consecutive vertices j and k for h we connect j h and j and uh, h and k and we get three triangles the sum of the interior angle for each triangle is 180 so all together this three triangle, if we add them, we get 540. Or if we do, simply do three times 180. The next polygon will be the polygon with six sides. And this one is, the name of this is hexagon. Okay, the polygon of six sides is called hexagon. How many triangles do you think we're going to have if we split, if we divide this uh, hexagon in triangles? And, get, and again, the idea here is to connect one vertex with the the other non-consecutive vertices. If you're thinking about having four triangles, you're right. Whatever vertex you choose, you see I, I choose uh, vertex um, D. Uh, I think it's D, hard to see it. Sorry, I connected with M, N, N. Oh, we have four triangles, each one being 180, so obviously the sum of the interior angles for this polygon is 4 times 180. 
720. So the sum of the interior angle of a hexagon is 720. This is the next one, seven sides heptagon, which is going to have five triangles. Five times 180. That will be 900 degrees. The sum of the interior angle of a heptagon is 900 degree. The next polygon, the polygon of eight sides, the name is octagon, and we're going to have six triangle. So that will be 1080 degree. The sum of the interior angles of an octagon is 1080 degrees. And here in this third table, I have a summary of all the shape we uh, discussed about with uh, GeoGebra. And now, uh, think about how many triangles we have for a polygon of nine sides. That is a nonagon, a polygon of ten sides, decagon. We do not have a name uh, for a polygon of 15 sides or 20 sides. We, we're going to call a polygon of 15 sides and 20 sides. So obviously for 9 sides we're going to have 7 triangles. For a 10, 8 triangle. For 15, 13 triangle. Okay, and just simply multiply that uh, number of triangle by 180 and you get the sum of the interior angles. But now let's, let's think about a formula if it's possible if we have n sides how many triangles do we have and obviously if you take a look we have n minus 2 triangle and what about the last column the last column here is nothing else than n minus 2 times 180. That is the formula for finding the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with n sides. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C squared for more video clips. Thank you and have a great day.